welcome to another tech video. Okay, so today we've got, um, this is an HP Pavilion TouchSmart 15 inch um, screen laptop that has is suffering from three of the keys not working and the chap has removed the keys cleaned it and put them back in but it's made no difference so we're going to do a straightforward uh, keyboard swap out on this device um, so let's get started all right so before we start um, the repair um, let's basically have a look at the keyboard so this is the replacement keyboard that's come and the first thing that I always do on changing a keyboard is just check to make sure that it's got no grub screws or some little ports with a thread in there. So we can see that this one does have, so there's one screw that needs to come out of the laptop um, beforehand. So let's have a look to see whereabouts that potentially is. Okay, so we've got it right here on the bottom, which is really handy. So there's one here for the keyboard and then uh, not sure what that one, that is for the uh, DVD-ROM that's in here, that one. But this one, it's got a keyboard symbol marked on it, so we're just going to remove that screw and then it should come out. So let's, so let's remove the keyboard screw. That's got to come all the way out, which it does. And then we should be able to get in here with a small flathead prizer tool and what we're looking for on the back of the keyboard is where the clips go in. So where the clips go in, they're in, in they go in at the bottom. So that would suggest to me that potentially we need to prize from the top, see if we can get into the top. And if we get a little tool underneath there. So it needs to be a bit smaller than that. So probably a small flathead screwdriver. Nope. Okay, yeah, so that should be fine actually if we go in there like that. There we go. So we get that one corner under and then we can get our prizer tool in there. Just going to tip that back. We're just going to run this around to try and unclip it all. There we go. And then carefully remove it. Right, the next thing, because of the ribbon cable, the ribbon cable on these is really fragile, so you wanna, once the keyboard is loose, just lift it up and have a look where the connection is. So as we can see underneath here, our connection is a straightforward, um, straightforward one. We're going to take a prizer tool, and on these ones, it should this top should move back on this one. So we're just going to pull that out. In fact, it uh, it doesn't need uh, one, it just slots in there. So on our replacement, we're going to remove the small bit of plastic that's over here. It's wrapped all the way around, basically. Let's have a look on the old one compared to the new one. Okay, so we do need to remove this little bit of tape that is stuck over the top to protect the contacts points. There we go, that's that removed. And then we can take our keyboard and that can now be connected. Let's just have a look at that. There we go, so we need to remove that black section, just pull the black section at the back 
or just work it back with a prizer tool and then that will allow you to insert the ribbon cable once the ribbon cable is in that should okay let's remove that again and try it again okay so once the ribbon cable is slotted in as far as it can it just pushes in till you feel some tension then this part, okay, in actual fact that's already locked. So that's it. Let's now see and get the keyboard plugged back in. So on the bottom here, the clips go in first and then the top should just push down and clip in at the relevant places around the edges and top. Next thing we want to do is make sure that the keyboard is working. So we're going to get some power into the device. Okay, once we get a picture, we should be able to log in. Okay, so Q, W, E, R, T, Y, U, okay, every key. Is working. Home. Yep. Uh, Numlock. Okay. Yep. So that's all working. So we can now shut the machine down. And once that's shut down, or while it's shutting down, we can do it. So we want to take our screw that holds our keyboard in, that goes back into this port on the back of the laptop, into the hole here. And that's it, one replaced keyboard with uh, broken keys, so that can go out in the recycling and this can now be returned to our client. So if you found that video useful, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, just want to say thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.